Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is the Winter Magic Tag. The Winter Magic Tag was created and I was also tagged to do this uh, challenge or book tag by Amanda from the Naughty Librarian. I will leave her original tag down in the description box so you can go check that out. Um, and I am back to my regular schedule of videos. So Tuesdays and Thursdays. So only two videos this week. Um, and I figured I'd give you guys a tag. If you haven't figured it out by now, my tags are usually things that you guys should go out and read. My recommendations. That's what they sort of double as there we go double as so let's just get to her questions because they're fun and they're interesting and i have some recommendations for you guys and some tea to spill because one of the questions i get to spill some tea uh so the first question or category is sweaters slash jackets yes they protect you from the elements so here is a book that i think is so pretty that i think should have a cover or be protected and the first one is the gathering by la fior and then i started looking on my bookshelves and was like oh my goodness la fior does some seriously amazing covers especially like these two savage uh the awakening of lizzie dalton danton lizzie danton let me get that right this book cover is amazing amazing oh my goodness and then and then there is like art on the inside of them it's like so pretty so very pretty if I if I if I didn't if I actually read these I would have a cover on this beauty on this one yes and then also also we have to go with oh our unscripted story by L.A. Fior again, and this one, this color just pops, and is just like, oh, so amazing, and then if you flip through, what, what, there's art in there too, it totally goes with the story, and it is so amazing, I mean, it like gets elaborate when it comes to the art, let me see if I can, there's a, what? so good oh and then this back look at that back oh just gorgeous I love these covers I love 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 those covers the next question is hot chocolate <laughs> hot chocolate oh not me um this is a thing that you most look forward to in the winter time um, name a book that I am most looking forward to reading and I have four of them for you guys because I actually have quite a few more but I lost I didn't have enough space to give all these and not all of them have book covers but these four do so I actually already have them in my possession so I get to read them because I got them as arcs and I'm rambling but The Half Truth by Letty Harper can't wait to get to this because Letty is my girl and I love reading her stuff. I got this from NetGalley and I'm super excited to read it for her. The Cliff House by Rayanne Thane and Rayanne, I, I found Rayanne last year and I'm all of a sudden very, very intrigued by her writing. It's very different and it's very sort of borders the line of typical romance tropey and formulated but then has a bit of women's lit to it and it brings a little something extra and different with each book that I've read from her so I'm excited to read this one. Fumbled by Alexa Martin. Oh, this is the follow-up to Intercepted and I wanted to get my hands on this one and NetGalley graced me so graciously with a copy of it as an arc and I can't wait to get to reading this one I believe this one comes out in March and I can't wait to read it and then finally Under Northern Lights by S.C. Stevens now let me tell y'all I got this from NetGalley as well as a matter of fact I got all four of these books from NetGalley and 
super excited that I did but this one specifically I haven't read an S.C. Stevens book since Thoughtless Trilogy and I loved that trilogy oh my goodness Kaylin Kyle Kyle Kaylin he was like one of my OG book boyfriends and I can't wait to see if she still has the magic and read this book yes 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 peppermint bark my favorite winter treat actually it's not my favorite winter treat my favorite winter treat is eggnog but I can only get that before Christmas until I learn how to you know make it myself but Pick a book that was a treat to read, and I would have to go with My One and Only by Kirsten Higgins. And this book was such a pleasant surprise. It was so sweet and just yummy. It had that hint of sexiness to it that was just like, Mwah. yes, yes. And then the main character had this journey that was like super epic and it was a road trip story and just so many yeses. It was such a surprisingly good good treat for me. Ah. Alrighty, Starry Lit Nights. A character that I would love to cuddle under the stars with and being that I'm not really an outdoorsy girl, I would still have to go with my my boy Adam from Beneath His Stars and In Her Space by Amy Knight because oh, this is a lifetime story and it covers two books. It starts off as a YA book and then it ends as a new adult book and oh so much love so so much love. If you saw my top 18 of 18 these two books ended up on that list and oh, go check out the card if you really want to know why I love this so much but I just love it and I would love to be under the stars with Adam and have him explain the stars to me it's just, ah, so good so so very good snow I actually hate the snow because people don't know how to drive in the snow but this is to pick a book with a white cover and if you don't see behind me lots of my books have white covers like whoop look at that right over here Megan Quinn is like the queen of white covers she kills those white covers right there but the one I'm gonna mention is a mid like mid life crisis by LD nope LB Dunbar and this is a series this one one book um, is part of a series of standalone books about mature romances so over 40 and I'm super excited to like read them because now that I've hit 40 um I'd love to read characters that are my age and see how that's dealt with see if I like that sort of thing which I'm sure I will because most of my characters that I do read about are normally in that you know 30 to 40 age range anyways those are like my most favorite characters when I can like totally relate to them and they've had their lives all of a sudden like thrown up some way but yeah yep 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 oh yes can't wait for that one storms storms big bad storms like it's doing right now it's raining outside for us and there's a winter weather storm just moving it making its way through my area of washington dc area uh northern virginia and this is to pick a story where the characters had to contend with nature and i had to think really really hard about this one but i'm gonna go with next in line by amy dawes because this one is surrounded our main characters meet when they want to go ice fishing when the female main character wants to go ice fishing ice fishing and then they have like this outdoor sort of winter adventure that they end up having ice fishing um what is it steeple climbing and they go snowboarding and skiing and yeah lots of outdoorsy type stuff so we're gonna go with that one and then the final question where I'm about to spill some tea. Well, not really, because I kind of don't like talking about this, uh, this book, but this book is Fireside. Pick a book that I wouldn't mind using as kindling. And I'm not even going to explain too much, but Too Late by 
Colleen Hoover. Y'all have heard me talk about this one, so I'm not even going to get into it. And that is the tag. So if you like the winter and you like these questions, they will be down in the description box so you guys can do it. I tag you all. I'm not tagging anyone specifically. Um, but have fun with it. I did. I love the questions. Thanks, Amanda, for the tag. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you did enjoy it, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys later.